welcome back to another episode of something new. Welcome to Strange Brigade, an upcoming four-person co-op game coming to PC and a console near you over in August. Link to actually go learn about the game and even pre-order for yourselves will be at the very tip of the top of the description. Make sure to go ahead and check it out. I want to say a huge thank you to Strange Brigade for actually sponsoring this video, supporting the channel, even inviting me over to their booth while I was visiting during E3 to actually go and capture this early gameplay. And I am very stoked that I got to do this. This was one of the few games I actually had some time during E3 to check out. I'm actually very happy I got to check it out. Because honestly, in my opinion, this might be one of the sleeper games. So definitely keep an eye out on August and make sure if you are interested, link down below, like I said. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's get to talking. This is the game where you and three of your amigos will be going through hordes of enemies like this as you advance and work your way through different levels and different missions available throughout the game. As you guys can see, there is a variety of weaponry. This can actually be customized uh what you would call well there's there's actually a couple of avenues of customization in the game so the first avenue is actually picking the character that you would like to go forth which each character is different in their little own ways and then each character can also choose different weapons and whatnot that they do wield in addition to the rest of their loadout but anyways we are advancing through the game we are taking out enemies and we are even collecting the souls as you guys might see there actually is the ability to collect the souls of those you down and what that will end up doing is actually charging up your ultimate ability a very powerful ability you guys will see later here a devil is telling me that i should shoot this to learn what it does the game was telling me guess what it's a break bro it's a break apparently don't be point blank when it tells you to shoot something and that is why i learned the hard way and i'm very bummed that i actually lost the audio for this unfortunately the audio did not record so you could not hear me literally dying because this dev is just dying next because i was playing next to one of the developers of the game asking them questions about the game as we played it was actually really awesome to get his kind of insights into the game and everything about it but these things uh while they did actually slice me up as you guys are seeing they can actually be used strategically if you hoard and or train and just kind of kite the enemies towards them what you'll be able to do is shoot them and they will do a lot of damage but then those blue balls that appear to float that is what i was talking about that will kind of charge up your sort of ultimate ability a very powerful ability that you only get to use every once in a while but in the lower left hand corner let's go over a couple more things that you are seeing in the lower left hand corner and actually right now the ability that i'm doing actually allows you to draw in souls from afar kind of hard to tell in that instance because i was uh well all of them were gone for the most part you guys can also see cool different grenades that you're allowed to throw like uh well some freaking volatiles but there look at that all the souls being sucked in and we are charged ladies and gentlemen so in a little ah in a little bit you guys should be seeing some fun coming out of that as you guys can see lower left hand corner it is telling me to use the potion unfortunately i did not see that until a little bit later no worries though i, I do end up using there you go i do end up using it but all that damage we suffered was thanks to uh, that awful accident we happened to fall into if you guys are actually looking on the screen you guys can see that red glowing thing that was glowing for a little bit right above my character right now there are actually some environmental hazards like that that you are allowed to shoot and interact with which can actually have very positive effects especially for example you're trying to take out huge hordes of enemies and or deal large amounts of damage but as enemies do fall you are also collecting gold in the lower left hand corner you guys can see that gold count now the gold i'm pretty sure you guys I, i'm not 100 sure if you can save it and be used in between runs i do think there is a currency outside of the game though because again in between missions and here we got something a little bit fancy there but what should i call uh in between missions i do believe when you are doing all that loadout stuff you should be able to purchase things and whatnot using some sort of in-game currency but the currency that we are using here i know for sure and there you guys oh you guys have seen exactly what was environmental hazard sorry if that sounded like a dog dying i currently do have strep throat so the words i'm saying are not the bestest of words and my throat is dying a little bit but that is another example of the environmental hazard more of which we will go through and more of the souls that will be sucked up for another charge ready and rearing to go but in the lower tech corner like i was saying you guys can see you guys can use a potion when needed and then you guys can see the blue and the red which are indicative of uh, pretty much our health and in the lower right, right hand corner you guys can see a couple other things here's another instance where the game does want us to shoot i'm too busy looking at how beautiful the freaking map is but you can go ahead and shoot that and i believe that activates a little bit of a trigger which actually allows us to pass and move on to the next area there are also a variety of enemies we have yet to encounter i believe a second type but pretty soon a new type should be introduced here however we have come across the arsenal where our loadout can be customized a little bit and we can even put 
put some of these amulets that we have collected or maybe that we have gotten throughout the game onto our weapons and these things as you guys can see me right now i'm just kind of reading through they do have a variety of effects our gun currently does have two slots for them you can pick any of the two that you do have at your disposal and your gun will receive the accompanying boosts so the ones that i end up picking are going to be one that actually sets them on fire and then one that should rebound the shots in between enemies my thought process behind this was uh, all right well let's set a lot of stuff on fire and then let's make sure a lot of that a lot of fire spreads but you guys can see a little bit of the loadout a little bit of the customization that is available to you as you do play again this is going to be also customized in between missions and what you guys are seeing here is going to be a box that you can find and we got the ricochet rifle that is a box with actually gives you an outlet for the gold that you do accrue throughout the game you guys can see that we get pretty much a very very juiced weapon that we will if all goes well have an opportunity to utilize upon our enemies so that is again one of the usages that you can get out of gold a super super juiced weapon a lot stronger than the ones that you are usually going to be rocking however i do not believe you can find more ammo for it once you do finish using the weapon it is going to be done so whereas your main weapons and your sidearm which is your pistol which i don't really use for the most part because i like the main one is going well uh but what you call these however you can find ammo for and over here on the left the developer's like yo something's over there you should definitely go grab it and i'm like yeah i should i should totally trust this guy he's obviously got my best interest in mind but eventually i'm like yolo i'll go jump scare it was a lot spookier with the audio speed of the audio again i am super sorry that the audio was not recorded for whatever reason i hope that you guys are enjoying the music that i put into the background i thought it was a perfect theme for the theme of adventure that this game absolutely i seriously think knocks out of the park because this this is seriously something like you go on adventure through some ruins there's lots of these like just looking like mummified dudes trying to bring a lot of pain and suffering upon you and you're collecting souls all right that just seems like the epitome of uh, doing that type of stuff but anyways let's go and talk about this rifle as you guys are seeing this rifle's doing a lot more work well we've actually switched out over to the thompson and the magicness that this is doing this is the special weapon that we got for that 500 gold as y'all can see it's a little bit of a juiced weapon but a little bit earlier guys we're seeing the first weapon that we are using we just entered the sinister canyon but the first weapon which was our upgraded version with the uh with the fire upgrade and the rebound upgrade and you guys were hopefully seeing well a these things starting to get on fire a lot more often but uh b us hopefully being a lot more effective as we are going for now we are continuing clearing out a couple of these dudes shooting a couple of them spanny things having a fun time like that and of course a crew and a little bit of gold to hopefully help and save our booties a little bit later but once all is cleared out i do believe there is a magical stone that we have to all touch between us in order to advance but for now i don't I think that's about it in terms of zombies. I'm just kind of wandering around trying to pick up any ammo that's possible. And of course, looking around because I do like finding that hidden loot. And I do catch whiff of this, which maybe we'll be able to utilize a little bit later. We are currently at 300 gold. Not quite enough to make the magic happen. But all of us need to go towards this magical thing. And I'm just kind of like, hold up, hold up. We got a guy. Let's, let's just kill a guy really quickly. Make sure that there's no trouble. And then once all of us start activating this, that is when some magic begins. So one of the magic is us actually getting a checkpoint so that's kind of nifty but another of the magic is well we got to survive a lot of bad stuff about to hit us there is also a narrator and even a bit of a kind of like antagonistic narrator voice throughout the video but unfortunately like i said the audio is not there the narrator seriously is just spot on i loved him his voice was his voice was awesome his humor was awesome and i was getting laughs throughout it so i am very bummed that i was not able to actually get that audio capture for you guys but that is another aspect of the game that is seriously i think you guys would love it if and when y'all do give it a shot and hopefully when we do decide to check out the game a little bit more because i seriously am excited for this and i do 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 <laughs> I do do but uh let's get back on topic i do want to do a little bit of more of this but anyways as you guys are seeing there are some rather larger hordes coming our way lots of zombies but through a variety of usage of some of our abilities some of our weaponry and of course some of our friendery uh, that's a that's a rhyming way of saying our friends we are having some magic happen here we are also encountering some tougher enemies however these are mummies these guys are a little bit on the tankier side as you guys can see they're being pumped full of bullets pumped full of fire Fire, bro. looks like freaking acids being spewed on them and well they they don't care too much man these guys are some tough cookies and let me say ooh, well they're kind of all broken now because melee is our thing but then these fellas come in another new type of enemy a type of enemy that appears to have 
some magical properties. Ghouls, deadly devils from beyond the grave. If these can be compared to anything, these enemies are kind of like the assassin type of class. Very quick, very hard hitting, but not as tanky as some of their other types of friends. Like for example, the mummies that we were just wailing on and melee are another thing that goes super well, almost as well as a fully charged amulet and a super powerful smash that brings down some enemies. So that was the ultimate that you guys just saw. We were utilizing a little bit throughout the video, but our ultimate in particular appears to be a just freaking just marvelous smash of the Hulk variety down into the ground and into a ton of flames. As you guys can see, I am pretty much a glorified pyromaniac if you haven't noticed with all the flames we got. And speaking of flames, why don't we go ahead and gather a bejesus ton of souls so we can recharge that amulet and hopefully help continue clearing out these hordes. But our teammate is down. That is another thing that you do need to keep track of. Your teammates can go down in this game. They can be uh, revived as well. Oh God, that smash them against old. I love watching them fly every and watch them get set to blaze as well. Your friends can be revived when they get down though, so it's not like, oh my god, I am dead, but never to be found again. It's not like, oh my god, Johnny, get over here and revive me. Put that double, put that double pump back. No, no, revive me right now. No, stop trying to go for the squad wipe. Listen, I think many of, all, many of us have been in similar situations where we've been down in a variety of games and our buddies just don't save us. Uh, so this is similar in that fashion because, well, we can be saved, but, uh, oh, you guys are also just seeing there, uh, what you would call a new ultimate type of weapon. I'm just gonna call them ultimate weapons, but they are the weapons that you can buy with 500 gold through those chests. They are random from that chest, but we are utilizing a little bit of a powerful sniper rifle at the moment. A very, very powerful one. One of our buddies just went ahead and popped open that thing as well. You guys are seeing some more of these relative like these guys are also pretty tanky but these are kind of like slower hard hitting they appear to have what appears to be a spear something of that like what i appear to be doing is running for the hills in safety because i'm about to die and i don't exactly have a potion anymore potions can be found throughout the world though through vases through jars and the such like the ones that i'm about to go and plop on open right here uh but that was ammo in particular that we got that was not the potions that we were needing so i am playing a little bit safe and whipping out a powerful weapon to do a ton of damage to these lads but oh did you guys just see that guy like right in front of us not not us shooting but the dude who just destroyed that person i just i just saw him fly to the right of the screen and that was amazing but we are facing a couple more of these tanky enemies these guys doing the some are these the ones that do a solid amount of damage there's two there's the ones that kind of just kind of eat damage and then those with spears that they definitely hurt if you let them get too close, but it doesn't matter what you put in front of us. We are gonna conquer it! Just, yeah, you're scared. Uh, don't know how we're gonna conquer that. Find out next time in Strange Brigade, because I also have to find out, because I have no clue in Tarnation how we're gonna, how we're gonna beat that. I, we haven't fought anything that large yet. That's a little bit unfortunate. But with that, the mission is complete. And you guys can see how each and every one of us performed some of the things that we received throughout. And thank you for playing Strange Brigade since this was the E3 build. But it's going to wrap it up for me for now. Again, huge thank you to Strange Brigade for sponsoring the video and supporting the channel. Love the game. Cannot wait to check it out. Some more link to it will be at the very tippy top of the description. Go ahead and check it out. Read up on it. Even pre ordered But it's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. I'll talk to the next one. See ya.